Alright guys, just a quick video regarding McGregor Aldo fight. Um a few people, the minority are saying it was a, a fixed fight, uh, and it's highlighting corruption within the UFC. Um Dana White or whoever in the UFC is paying Aldo or paid Aldo millions of pounds or millions of dollars or whatever it is to lose the fight on purpose. And they genuinely believe that. Um, and they're saying that Aldo was forced to lose the fight, forced to give up his title, forced to give up his 10-year unbeaten streak to lose to McGregor. Okay, and i got to say utter nonsense. First of all, um, Aldo's a multi-millionaire anyway, um, and he makes his money from being unbeaten because all his sponsorship money, he's the top, he's the pound for pound number one fighter in the world in UFC. So he's going to make a lot in sponsorship. He's going to make a lot just from the UFC in his fights. If he then starts losing fights on purpose for a few million here, yeah, he might make a few million, but in the long run, he's going to lose money because he's going to lose money from his fights in the long run. Second of all, if he was forced to lose the fight, as they're saying, so he didn't voluntarily do it, he was forced, okay, he could quite easily just go public and say, look, I don't want to, I don't want to lose the fight on purpose, okay, go public, and Dana White and all the other people that run the UFC would then be jailed or have corruption charges against them, just like what's happening with FIFA, where they're saying that matches were fixed. You can't fix matches in UFC, okay? It's a betting sport. It's a, it's a sport. There's betting on it. You can't fix the matches. It's not wrestling, okay? You can't fix the matches. If they were fixed, you know, you could have the FBI on them, like what they're doing with FIFA, where they're arresting top officials in FIFA and jailing them, you know, for, for corruption charges. You can go to jail for a long time, millions of pounds worth of corruption they're talking about, you can go to jail for a long time. So there's no way he's being forced, because if he was forced to do it, he would go public, go to the police, go to the FBI, go to whatever authorities he has to go to and say, look, I'm being forced to get, basically to getting knocked out is what he would be saying, I'm being forced to get beaten up. Um, so that's my, my my opinion on it, just want to let you guys know. Um, so just to recap, he's not being forced, or he's not voluntarily doing it for the money because he's a multi-millionaire in a way who makes millions of pounds just through sponsorship alone, let alone through his UFC fights, okay? So he's not going to do it for the money. He doesn't need any more money. He's not going to lose his 10-year unbeaten streak, his title, you know, his pride. He's not going to do that for money when he's got millions and millions of pounds. And he's not going to be do it because he's forced to do it because he'll just go public and say, look, these people have forced me to do it. There's a, there's a, a lot of corruption in the UFC, Contact the authorities, and the UFC would then be shut down. Top officials would be arrested, and that'd be the end of the UFC. So there's no way he was knocked out legitimately, and that's the end of it. All right, guys.